Hello, this is a new setup and Luna's playing in the background as usual. Whenever we start filming, she's like, oh yes, time to play loudly. <laughs> <laughs> we have a microphone. We're not sure how it works properly yet. And we have lighting and we're also not wool and blind. <laughs> I'm not, we're not also sure how that really works yet. So that's, you know, if it sounds weird or is lit weird. We're sorry, <coughs> but we're learning, right? Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> So I asked on Instagram, I, I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to film a Q&A video and I asked on Instagram for some questions and I've not read them yet but I'm going to look no. at them now. Sajda asks, is the blue skin all makeup? Unfortunately, yes. I wish it wasn't but... Maya E. Kedi asks how long does it take you to do all your makeup and everything in the morning i love you i think you <laughs> it takes about an hour um it, it doesn't take long because i've been doing it for so long it just goes on really quickly and stuff sajda again asks uh, from when do you did you have blue skin um i started over 10 years ago but it wasn't every day it was um just on special occasions at halloween or when i just felt like dressing up and i would just do blue eyeshadow on my face it took so long um and now this is quicker because it's it's face paint so it just goes on and it's fun i don't know it's <laughs> like on in two layers <laughs> it's a lot easier whereas with the eyeshadow i'd be like <laughs> Like it takes so long, <laughs> but um, um, so over ten years. Huh? I remember the when we got together, um, our first Halloween. I said, "Oh, what are you going as? You're in blue." <laughs> <laughs> Every Halloween, I've been blue. Dana Svensson asks, "Do you own any weapons?" <laughs> yes. <laughs> Weirdly enough, we do. Like, how how did you know that? But yeah, we do own weapons. Um, I own a sword from uh, Pakistan and you own a bow. Mm. You bought me it um, and I remember you brought it down for a present, a birthday present and you were like, and I went, is it a bow? <laughs> <laughs> you, look, you looked like really shocked. Cause it was wrapped up. Yeah, wrapped up obviously. Cause in a box. In a box. It just looks like this. <laughs> it's fine, it's Luna playing. It just looks like the size of a burr and you're the kind of person to buy me a burr and obviously I love burrs so. <laughs> Dennis Svensson again asks, what is your favourite song? Mm. Oh, I can't choose a favourite, it's probably between Ministry, Twilight Zone and a Gary Newman song that I can choose my favourite out of Gary Newman songs just probably one of his newer ones what's your favourite song? That, that's an impossible decision because if I could choose my favourite song from each musical category but not I can't decide but <laughs> what do you mean category? choose one from a category then? so favourite metal song mm -hmm. You're gonna have to edit this down because I'm gonna have to think. <laughs> it's impossible. It <laughs> it is, is, it's too impossible. hard, isn't it? Uh, Shin Shiny Cute Diva asks, How do you stay kawaii? Um, hmm. Probably um, the kawaii thing. The parts of me that are in the kawaii <laughs> um, category is probably due to people I'm inspired by on Facebook and YouTube so um, Pixie, Pixie Looks. I really love her videos and they're so bright and happy and rainbows and stuff and Sun Gypsy on Instagram. Well, just seeing things that inspire me and are cute and stuff and just having cute things. I don't know, I don't, I don't know if I can answer this question. <laughs> How do you stay kawaii? Um, rainbows and pink, I guess, and cute fluffy things. Always been open to finding things cute, I guess. 
I find so many things cute, like, so we'll be watching something and I'll just be like, oh, cute, and they'll be like, what's cute, and I'm like, I don't, the person, because they're like, they, they wanted, like, a sandwich or something <laughs> that makes them cute. <laughs> I don't know, sorry I can't answer that better. Natalie Madeline asks, how do you make your blue skin so smooth? I always have cracks and roughness when I paint. I used to get that too. I used to do white face paint and blue face, uh, blue eyeshadow over the top of it. And I'd put the face paint on and then I'd put blue eyeshadow over the top and the face paint would just crack off like like dust. When I'd brush the brush over the top of it, it'd just crack off and there'd be big skin patches. I googled it, I looked on forums, I didn't find any answers. Uh, so I'm not actually sure but the things that I think have changed that for me is that I'm taking better care of my skin so I use um, a good moisturizer is important because I, I had dry skin back then so maybe that's why it didn't like cling to it and stuff and I also use a good face paint I use diamond FX and um, I use and I used to use Nazaru, which we do, we still have some colours of. He uses it on his neck. Um, Diamond Effects is definitely better than Snazaru, in my opinion. Um, it's not sponsored or anything, I feel like I have to say that I wish it was sponsored because mm -hmm. this is what I spend most of my money on in makeup wise. But um, it's, it's better, it's just um, smoother. Also, I used to use a sponge now. I use um, this brush, so it's like a flat foundation brush, and I I just put the blue on and then I do one layer, and then wait for that to dry. Very important to wait for it to dry also because um, if you don't, it just takes it back off again. When it's dry, do another layer and try not to go over the same area twice whilst it's wet because if you do this, and then you're like, oh, that looks a bit patchy, I'm gonna go over it again, and then you go like this. It's just going to take it off the layer below it and the layer you've just applied because it's wet so and the layer beneath it will also be wet now also you go i say like so you have to just do it and if you have a patchy part don't go over again wait for it to dry just do another layer kvlt pengu asks what do you do when stuff is overwhelming? Sorry if this is a weird question, I, I need tips. Um, just breathe and remember that nothing in this life is important at the end of things. Like I've said this before and it does sound bad, but it's, I mean it in a good way, like there's nothing that important happening in this life all we are here to do is learn and grow in my opinion in my beliefs um just learn and grow and if you get overwhelmed just remember you know not, nothing is that important we'll, we'll all die someday so you could be like oh no i've spilled something and um i've made a mess of uh, you know something i've been working on i spilled things all over it and you could just dwell on it and just be like oh screw today i'm just gonna give up and lay down and not do anything but like i don't know i don't know how to word it i'm not the best of this either we all struggle i don't think anyone is the best like is perfect with this stuff i, I don't know just just remember that nothing nothing matters really all that matters is that we grow as people and we uh, further our souls in the correct direction and um also just do focus on things that you enjoy focus on things you like so for me gaming if i'm in a bad mood i'll go on a game i'll do i don't know like there's an app that i go on um similar to Am oh my god <sighs> animal crossing is really good for mental health and lonely people and I've been on it for like when did we get that over a year ago two years ago and Anim <coughs> um Animal Crossing New Leaf is the one that I've played the only one I've played and my favorite villager who's been with me since the beginning is Benjamin 
and I didn't play for like um, a week or two weeks and he left I, I went I went on like oh, I want to see Benjamin I'm not feeling very good today so I went on to see Benjamin he'd left my village how can you do this to me Animal Crossing how you're supposed to be really good for mental health and here I am crying my eyes out at 1am because freaking Benjamin's left <laughs> But he was my favourite villager because he reminded me of um, Sweep from City and Sweep which is a, like a 90s children's show that I really liked as a child. So yeah, I'm probably not going to play that game again. But there's a similar feel game, it's not as good as Animal Crossing but it's a really like Kuma farm or something. I'll show you my farm. And uh, that's really enjoyable, it's very cute and it's fun to do the farm stuff and the music's calming and stuff so I like to go on that. I'm sorry I can't help you anymore with this question. I don't know, do you have any advice? It depends on the situation but with certain things like if you're stressing about something in particular you can think back to the time that's happened before. You know like say for instance you're worrying about money, you can't pay something you think back and just think it turned out okay last time, nothing bad happened and worrying, obviously there's that saying, worrying about it twice, what is it again? Worrying is suffering twice yeah. or something from The Hobbit. But also, you know, there's a, everyone worries, everyone stresses and you just have to try to minimise it, you're not going to it's going to take a long time for you, anyone to get to the point where they don't stress out about anything. <laughs> don't beat yourself up about stressing, but just try not to worry it as much as you can, really. That's all you can do. I hope that helped you, and I hope you don't get overwhelmed too often. Princess When Gremlin asks, how long does it take for both of you to get ready? Uh, for me, about an hour. For you, about the same. Yeah, I think I do take longer to do my makeup, but you've got more accessories, <laughs> so. You only take longer because you've not been doing it as long. Yeah. The battery is going on my phone, which we, is what we film with. So we're gonna charge it for a minute and then come back. You know, hopefully we're not too much more drink. <laughs> but we'll be back in a minute. Bye bye. We'll all my nails are gone now. Let's see, let's see. Uh, Mr. Chaos asks, I would really appreciate to see a tour of your trailer uh, to understand the way you live, cook, and etc. I love you. Thank you. Um, we, we live in a boat, <laughs> not, not a um, tra trailer. We do, I do have a um, highlight on my Instagram of um, like life in the boat, and I show you how I cook specifically <laughs> actually uh, I, I hope to upload to that more often I mean we did used to live in a caravan which we, is a trailer oh is that what a trailer is? I think so uh, yeah. so we, yeah we used to live in a caravan um, we don't anymore <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't even sell it it was so bad like it had holes in it and stuff we couldn't even sell it we had to try and give it away and the people wouldn't even come and pick it up. We, you had to go and literally drop it off and be like, okay, please take it. Please take this. <laughs> <laughs> it was such, it was so bad. Same person also asks, how could I send you some gifts? What country do you live? I really want to send you some makeup. Thank you so much. That's so nice of you. Unfortunately, I don't have a PO box address or anything like that. So I can't actually get like I can't actually get letters or anything or, or makeup or anything like that. Um, but I really appreciate that you would do that. <laughs> Thank you. I also posted just for fun. Uh, pick a number and I'll answer it honestly. And I'll say that I'll answer on any except three and thirty-three. And you all said like pretty much all the numbers. <laughs> Pretty much all the numbers, so I'll just go through them apart from 3 and 33. Okay, so 1. Which of your legs is best? I feel like the left one of mine. Which one for you? My leg? What do you mean? No, I feel like the right one. No, I'm not choosing. I don't want to pick a favourite. Which one of your legs is best? My third leg. 
<laughs> Number two, how much sand can you eat? Zero, mon. What about you? Two teaspoons and five three. Really? You could actually eat sand? No. I don't know. Okay. Depends what the if I got more for it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's three, we're skipping three when I'm doing that. Four, best pen trick. Mine is. I don't know if I can still do it, but just. Probably can't do it, but okay. Where's the pen? Like go like this. <laughs> do it again. Okay, I, I can't do it anymore. But I used to be able to do this with the pen. What's your best pen trick? Writing. Oh my god! No, that, yeah, no, I changed it to that. that well. That's not a good one. Number five. Who would God sleep with? Probably all of us. <laughs> who do you think? Amethyst. <laughs> Mine, most bees. Mm. Oh, no, you answer this. Most what bees. Did... Most bees. Remember, you got stung by loads of bees. Oh, yeah. Um, my brother attached a nest when I was probably about six, and I said, Don't do that, that's cruel. And they all came out and stung me, and I probably got. They peeked out probably about 30 dead bees out of my hair alone. Mm. So, yeah, I got stung quite a lot. You saw a cute bee the other day. Mm. Ten. Ever had a lead witch? Nope. What's a lead witch? I don't know. Eleven. What dictator is secretly a good friend? Well, there's that one that I apparently look like. Stalin. No. <laughs> I don't know. It's the only <laughs> one I know other than Hitler. <laughs> I'm not good with history. I'm, I'm not stupid, but I'm not good with history and memory. What's I don't know. Did someone tag me years ago? I don't it, like a Cuban leader or something like that. It's not Castro or a different one. Uh, Thirteen hate skin. Kind of. Hate? Hey, what do you mean? No, I don't hate skin. Fourteen best Methodist church handicap walk away railing to skate. I'm I'm not sure what Methodist is. But there's one I saw in a town that is like I, I also had never skated so I can't answer this. <laughs> um fifteen, were you an extra in Transformers far? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Eighteen, ever tasted trash? No. Nope. Nineteen, plan to have siblings? Uh no. Siblings. <laughs> Twenty, do we need ribs? I think so. Yeah. 21, do you miss Matchbox 20? No, I don't know what that is. No, me neither. <laughs> 22, what gun is your crush? This one. This one. <laughs> 23, bathtub of meat? <laughs> We're vegan, no. 24, best cyberbully in history? Uh, I guess, um, have a seat guy. What's he called? Chris. Chris. Chris Hanson. <laughs> Um, 25, what insect would you marry? Oh, uh, apparently there's a film about someone who marries a bee, so I guess a bee. Yeah. Uh, 26, want to go ghost hunting in your dad's office? <laughs> <laughs> My dad didn't have an office, but if he did, that would be the best place to ghost hunt because, you know, he's dead, so I'd probably ghost hunt him in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. That would be quite funny. He'd be like, Dad, I got you, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> He he probably played jokes on me there. What about you? Would you go? Do does your dad have an office? No. Well, he has a. Well, yeah, I guess he does, but not in the house. I'm guessing that's what they're saying. But obviously, go go something. Go anywhere. Uh, uh, Twenty-seven. How was your trip to Mozambique? Uh, I don't think I went. Nah, I've never been. Twenty-eight. Give my son a shitty name. Billfire. <laughs> that's a good name. No, you, but the bit, the shot is B. Imagine yeah, calling your child B. It's <laughs> in Once Upon a Time. He's yeah. like, oh, you know B. He's like, <laughs> he's just calling his son B all the time. It's, it's like, this is my so. son. It's like, oh, B. <laughs> Go and give this son a shit to do. Jeff. 29. What does Tony Hawk hate? Um, wet, wet sleeves. He probably hates like ice cream skateboards and shit. Uh, 20. Uh, 30. Current Navy rank. Zero. 
Just You're a pirate, so you know. Oh, maybe. pirate captain. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I'm I'm first number one. No, you're not. I'm a fifth. Oh yeah, I'm number two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so do you know, you heard that song where the guy says panda a lot? Is what? that the one from like over a decade ago where it was like snake, snake, badger, badger, badger? No, it's not. Is it? No, I've not heard that one. Have you? No. Thirty-two long or short Lincoln logs. Uh, long, I don't know what it is, but is it? Yeah, I'm guessing long, I don't know what it is. Either. 36 favourite flavour pans. Firewood? Watermelon. 37 weirdest thing surgeon left in you. Uh, nothing. <laughs> it just left you empty. <laughs> 38 drugs. Yeah, you know. 39. Mm. Ah, oh, that's not nice. Forty. How did you turn into this monster? I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> you know, it's been a lot of um, you know self self finding work, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm working on it every single day. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's all the questions. <laughs> <laughs> that's all the questions, and uh, I hope we didn't mess any up with my hair on the microphone, which I think might have messed up but um i'll see when we play this back and if so i'll just put the captions and turn the volume down and i'm sorry if that happened but uh there are the questions that we're answering so thank you for sending them to all that sent them and sorry if i we didn't answer your question um it's been fun <laughs> answering these and i might do it i'll do it again sometime so until next time bye bye Bye-bye.